Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Everyone, welcome to tonight's class. This is officially my last class with you. And I'm a little bit sad, but um, hopefully you have been able to learn things that you didn't know or improve on things that you already knew. And um, as usual, we'd like I would like you to start, um, I would like actually to choose a student that <laughs> Um, I would like to choose a student that could um, maybe read uh, the beginning prayer with me or even without me. Um, so I do have quite a few um, show of hands. If everybody could just lower their hands and um, and then I'll just see. Because I've made a list today, I'm on my own today, so no um, ST. Um, so I'll just... Um, so N six one seven four. If you can, um, if you can change your ID, then I can pick you. Otherwise, you'll go in the waiting room. Can you do that? Okay. Okay. So Assalamualaikum. N six one seven. Um. So you've gone mute for some reason. Samlico. Okay, it's got his mind of its own. Uh, I'll try one more time. I'll try to unmute you. Okay, Samlico. N six one seven four. Okay, I don't know if you're unmuting yourself, but um. Um, <clears throat> I'll just uh, choose somebody else. Can everybody that don't uh, have the right ID, can everybody just change their IDs? Um, so I'll choose N6160 if the ID is correct. Um, I can't find you now. Okay, let me type it N6160. There you are. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Okay, I can't. Okay, there. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? Are you okay? Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. <clears throat> so, can you please start and read um this prayer? I'll enlarge it a little bit there. Can you read this, please? Can you see this? Yes. So you can start with Aldo Billah and Bismillah, and then you can start reading this. Aldo Billah, Mr. Shaitan, and Rajim, Bismillah, and Rahman, and Rahim. Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a. Il manna fi a. Il Okay, good. And translation? Oh, Allah, I, I ask you for beneficial knowledge. Okay, good. Uh, actually, can you also read? Um, can you also read this one here? Rub is it ni il man man. So when we make a pause, we say, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Okay, good. And what's the translation? Oh, my Lord, increase me in my knowledge. Okay, good. Jazakallah for that. Uh, just for everybody's uh, information. So this is the really good dua that I like to, or I used to especially read when I was um, still at school and university and all that. Um, <clears throat> I used to read this like before exams and <clears throat> sorry my throat is still <clears throat> not itself um i used to read this when i was um uh, you know preparing for exams or um you know, anything because it's all about gaining knowledge so you can always read that um you know and you know it doesn't matter if it's for school or other kind of knowledge that you want to gain like quran as well you can always that's a really good dua so you can you should learn all of these but this is quite short and easy to learn um, so yeah, so Jazakumullah to um, N6160. Um, okay. 
So N6157, I've seen your note. Um, please change your ID again. And also, um, just a second. Um, and also, what was the other one I wanted to? Okay, good, well done. Um, okay, and A5, uh, 167 I think it was that was saying they haven't read for a while um, so yeah so I'll choose you inshallah because you've changed your ID so that's excellent okay good so I'd like to um, carry on and what we're gonna do next is guess what <laughs> the class etiquette you should know them in your sleep by now um, so the D2 class etiquettes <coughs> for the lesson do your wuzu, cover your head, sit with a grown-up, um, turn your audio and video off, and log in with the correct ID. Um, then, during the class, uh, make sure that you're listening closely to what's being said to the class proceedings. Um, keep hands down unless you're requested to do so. Um, and also, wait before you leave the classroom. And then, after the lesson, uh, revise everything you've learned and complete any homework that you were given. Um, <clears throat> as you know, this is um, the email address you can, if you want to, you know, notify us of anything or tell us about anything. Um, now I know that this is not, um, you know, the best solution for when you want to <clears throat> say something right then and there. Um, but, but you know, we're trying to figure out how to work around that because um, it's just not possible to um, always um, find out what the show of hand is, is meaning um, for each student. It would just take too much time away from the lesson. So this is, if it's urgent, you can just write us on here. <coughs> and then lastly, remember that these classes are only additional support. Um, to your learning and they're not a replacement for your one-to-one -one learning that you should be doing anyway or that you were doing from before as well so that's that um, okay so the next student I would like to choose is N6157 Asalaamu Alaikum Wa Alaikum Asalaam How are you? I'm fine Alhamdulillah how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Uh, so I would like you to please start reading. Um, we're going to carry on with where you left off, I think, with the other teacher. Um, so we're going to start from here. <coughs> so this is the word that you want, I want you to read. Um, so you can start with Auzu Billah um, and then Bismillah as well. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله مجريها Okay, excellent. So, <coughs> Usually, if this was so, th so um, this is actually a really interesting fact. Uh, as far as I am aware, this is in the Holy Quran. This is the only place. This is the only word where a vertical fatha, um, uh, sorry, vertical kasra will be um, uh, will will be said this way. So we won't say majriha. We'll say majriha. And that's just how it is because that's how they um, said it in the Holy Prophet Sallallahu time. Um, and like I said, that's what I remember Hakasab told us in the class once. Um, so that's just, we continue to do it that way. Um, and so, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. I don't know why the mic keeps unmuting people without me doing anything. But anyway, so yeah, so that was correct. Bismillah, majriha. Um, and that's the only word. Usually, otherwise, it would be majriha. But this is the one word where we say majriha. So that was excellent. Um, can you read the next word as well? Okay. <clears throat> 
Excellent. That was really good. So you have obviously ignored this, um, which is the right thing to do. You have ignored the the bar before the meme mushadda, and this is exactly right. Uh, and you have gone from the gaf straight to the meme, and that's how you're supposed to do it. So that was correct. Um, do you want to do the next one as well? Yes. Bisu. Okay, that was. I actually just remembered that um, I was uh, going to ask the students to read. Um, what is it called? Um, to read with and without pausing. So you've just done with pausing. Can you read it um, without pausing now? Just the way it's written. Be so in. Okay, good. That was really good. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that's really good, mashallah. Uh, and um, yeah, I think I'll choose the next student. Well done. Brilliant. Tazakullah. <laughs> okay, so that was N6157. And I would like to choose, uh, let me search A5167, I think it was. Assalamu alaikum. A5167, are you there? Yes. Are you both, are you signed in from two devices? You and your sister, you and your brother? I can't hear you very well. Can you say something? Yeah, What's your ID? Sorry. Okay, so you've just been muted by the system. I don't know how that happens. It's got a mind of its own today. Okay, so I'll just search for you again. A5. One six seven. <coughs> okay, there you are. So I'm trying to unmute you and okay, there you are. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Okay, so what's your ID? A five one six seven. Okay, good. That's fine. So A five one six seven. Can you please uh, read Bismillah and also, can I ask A5124 to stop the video because I keep stopping it, but it keeps coming up for some reason. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, can you um, start with Bismillah and then can you read the, the next word, which is this word? Okay. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Juz a... Okay, good. And without pausing? Just on. Okay, good. Excellent. And the next word? Ava my yunasha. Ava my Okay, good. Uh, so no prolongation of this because the wow is only there to be kind of like a chair um, for the Hamza to sit on. It doesn't act as a wow of elongation. Um, so the, the Hamza, it's just giving the Hamza a place to sit basically, but the wow does, it's just to be ignored. So it's just the Hamza. One second. Awamayunashau. <laughs> Okay, good. And if you make a pause, what would you say? Excellent. That was really good. Yeah, that's good. Very well done. Um, oh, can I actually ask uh, everybody at home that doesn't have the mic um, at the moment? Um, so when... Um, after the student has read, when I read again, can everybody repeat after me, even if they don't have the mic, okay? Just for revision purposes. So, next one, please. Bala un. <coughs> Excellent. And with pausing? Bala. Yes, good. But can, um, can I just say, this sounded just a tiny bit like a ayn. It's a hamza, so it sounds kind of like a alif. It's very light. Bala. Bala. Excellent. And uh, can you read this next word as well, please? Shai'a at khazad. 
شيء اتخذها Okay, so this is something that we need to look at. So as you have probably realized, this is a kind of like a normal, um, not normal looking noon. It kind of looks much smaller than this noon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, um, that's a special kind of a noon. Um, so when we see that there is this noon and, um, and it's in the middle of, of the sentence, then we, say, then we say it. We have to read it. So we don't ignore it. Um, however, if it's in the beginning of the sentence, like this one, um, then we don't read it. It's, it's a small one, we don't start with the small one, but if it's in the middle, then we read it. Um, and in this case, because the, if it was just this word, shay, uh, without the noon, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to cut the noon out, but I can't for some reason. Um, so if it was just um, this bit right here, without the noon again, um, then we would um, obviously prolong it. We would say shay, uh, but now that, um, now that we have this small noon afterwards, the rule is that if there is a small noon um, and beforehand there is this hamza or alif, then we don't prolong that. So we just say shay uh, nitta, okay? Shay uh, nitta khadaha, like that. Can you try that? Shay uh, nitta Excellent. So can everybody repeat after me, including you? Shay Anita Khazaha. Shay Anita Khazaha. So this is the noon that we need to pronounce because it's in the middle of the word. Shay Anita Khazaha. Shay Anita Khazaha. Good. And we don't prolong this Hamza because it comes kind of with the noon. And when that happens, we don't prolong it. Um, that's just how you can remember it. Shay Anita Khazaha. Shay Anita Khazaha. Shay Anita Khazaha. Shay Anita Khazaha. Okay, good. Uh, and remember that this is not a thick letter, it's a thin letter. Ha, not ha, okay? Okay, good. So, um, can I speak to your brother now? Yes. Zakmullah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Okay, that's good. Um, so, you can, you can start with Bismillah again, and then you can start from this word. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إب no uh, uh, sorry um so this carries on into the next line oh لا إب له okay so remember that um so first of all, I want you to read it the way it's written, okay? So without pausing. Okay, so can I just say that um, that was good. Then you have to connect the tanween, the matain. You have to connect that to the wow. So we say a nasal sound. Ooh. Actually, my mistake. We should have started from here, not from the middle. La ibu wa. La abu wa. La i. La ibu wa. La ibu wa. Okay, that was better. And then la wun. This is a uh, this is a a tanween on top of the wow. So we have to uh, say um, say one, okay? La ibu wa la hun. La ibu wa la hun. La hun. Excellent. Uh, I think when we, um, I think what you're trying to say is is in pausing. So when it's in pausing, the tanween will turn into a sukun. And that way we will say, la ibu wa lahu. 
La ibu walahu. Okay, good. And the next one, please. <coughs> Uli basi. Um, so this word doesn't have any, it's got a blank, it's got a few blank letters. So there's the blank alif. And um, we don't prolong that. So I think that's why it's in grey. Um, Uli bas, like that. Okay, so this doesn't have any, um, what is it called, any sign or anything. So this is alam, <clears throat> and that's one second, and the alif is one second. And the wow and the ya don't have any, um, what is it called, any strokes of any kind. So I think they're just there to, um, well, they're just blank, basically. So we won't say them. Uli bas. Uli Yes. So in uh, in pausing we say uli bas. Uli Yeah. Did you say the seam sound in the end? I couldn't hear it. Uli bas. Okay, good. And now read it in continuation. Uli basi. Uli basin. Uli Uli sin. Good, excellent. Um, that was really good. And can you read this one? So it's got a few. Um, it's got a few blank letters again. Sometimes what happens is, <coughs> sorry. Sometimes what happens is you can get a um, blank letter without any uh, sign on top, like a marking, like an X, like here. Uh, but sometimes you do get that. Um, so here we can see that there is a an X on top of um, the, this alif and on top of this sideways alif as well. Um, and so that just shows us that we're not to read those, so we're supposed to just ignore them. So when they when they are just ignored, then it's just alarm. Um, so can you try and read this, this word? <coughs> Be usalim salis. That was a really good effort, mashallah. Well done. <coughs> um, so this is a Hamza. Viksa. This is uh, obviously uh, quite straightforward. Viksa. And then obviously uh, we, we're not reading the alif. We're going to the lam. So lismu. Viksa lismu fusuk. Okay. Uh, bi salim uh, bi salismul fusu. That was really good, mashallah. That was excellent. Um, quite often we see that even grown ups and people with lots of experience um, in reading the Quran and all that uh, find it difficult. I did as well, um, you know, with this word uh, when that comes. But you did a really good job. Can you do this one more time? Bi salismul fusu. Be salis, but uh, be salis mulfusu. Excellent. And in continuation, <coughs> be salim uh, salis mulfusu. Excellent. That was really good, mashallah. Well done. Okay, so I uh, will mute you guys now and look for the next Auntie. student. Okay, Auntie. Yes. What is it? My sister. Okay, I don't know if you've gone mute. I haven't done anything, by the way. I didn't mute you. So I'll look for you again. I think you wanted to say something. A5167. There you are. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know how you got muted. My sister wants to ask how. How long there is till this um, uh, uh, this class ends? Um, so it usually ends at eight. <coughs> like the whole. Um, oh. <coughs> the course, you mean? Yeah, when the course ends. Okay, yeah. So on, I think it's on Friday when we have our um, uh, concluding meeting with all of the classes and all of the, the um, what is it called? with uh, the head teacher and all the other staff members and all of the students and everybody that's, um, you know, always there. 
so everybody will come to the concluding session and let me just check on my phone. Uh, that will be this, um, that will be this, just a second. Um, yeah, so that's this Friday, it's the concluding session. Okay, the Okay, Zakula, Salikum. <clears throat> okay, so that was A5167, and um, I forgot to write the name of his brother. I have to look for them again. A5146. Okay, good. Uh, right. Um, okay, guys, uh, please change your ID. I will talk about the exam in a minute your exam is going to be tomorrow I thought you might know this already um, so we always announce this and it's tomorrow the 27th inshallah that's your exam date I hope this is not a shock to somebody um, who might frantically try to just catch up with everything and to overwhelm themselves tonight um, you know if you haven't done any revision um, that's obviously a sad state of affairs it shouldn't be like that uh, but if you really haven't done any revision then um, I would suggest you do the bits that you feel a little bit wobbly with or you know not confident but don't overdo it if you haven't done anything you don't want to overdo it tonight because um, you know it might just overwhelm you a little bit uh, but you should you should have done some revision I mean even attending these classes helps you um, so just you know if you think that there's still stuff that's missing Maybe go over that stuff, um, or you know, just you know, there's there's um, obviously not physically possible to go through everything tonight. Um, I mean, to newly learn it tonight, that would be a bit too much. But yeah, just try try as much as you can, and um, you know, do the dua that I told you about at the beginning of the class. Okay, <clears throat> I know quite a few of you are raising their hands, but we're going to carry on with this first and then we can you know like look into um, what is it called uh, this um, so I would like to look for the next student let me just do a small search again I will type in the bar and six one five zero okay not present just a second bear with me Mm. Okay, so the students that I'm just trying to look for, I can't find them. I mean, they're definitely not there. It's not that I can't find them. They're not here. Um, so I will just give it a few more tries. And if none of them are there, then I'll just choose one by one. I will work my way through the raised hands. I'll try to, inshallah. Um, number five. Uh, oh, is it A5157? Okay, not there. Right, guys. Okay, so I tried. Um, so I will, I think N6157 already had her turn today. So I will, just to be fair, I will give the mic to the next person. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Sam. What's your ID? N six one four four. N six one four four. Okay, good. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Um. So, <clears throat> so can I just ask you to start with Bismillah and then read this word here? Okay. Uh, do we do I have to before I start? Do we have to start the join the noon with the dal? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, as you might have heard before when I was with the other students, um, if yes. the small noon comes in the middle of the word, then you read it. If it comes at the start of the word, then you just ignore it. Uh, so in this case, the alif is left, and we will put a, um, a dhamma on top, so it will be udhulu, okay? So we, because we can't just say uh, uh, or something, you know, it just doesn't sound right. So we'll put a dhamma on top, and uh, that way we ignore the noon, but uh, we carry on with the rest. So you say Udhulu, okay? Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Udhulu ha bis salamin. 
Excellent. That was really good. You remember to do the calcula on the dal. That was really good, mashallah. Can you read this in pausing now? So this is a lamb. So this this bit will stay the same. Uh, from here to here will stay the same. And then all, all that changes is that the meme will have a sukoon. Okay. Okay. So can you do this again? So udhuluha bisalam. Udhuluha bisalam. So this is a vertical fatha, that's two second elongation. Be salam. Be salam. Excellent. And the next one. Huwa, can you say this again? This won't be prolonged. It's just one second, then one second fatha. Huwa fishan. So, huwa. Huwa fishan. This still sounds a little bit too long. Huwa, not huwa. Huwa fishan. Huwa fishan. Huwa, like this. Huwa, like tap, tap. Who wa fi shan? Good. Who wa fi shan? Who wa fi shan? Okay, good. And with um, uh, what is it called? Um, without pausing and continuation. Who wa fi shanin? Who wa fi shanin? Who wa fi shanin? Who wa fi shanin? Okay, good. That was better. Well done. Um, do you want to try the next word as well? This one? Yes. Sayyad. <laughs> it's okay. Sayyad. Sayyad. Okay, do you want to repeat after me? Yes. Okay. Sayyad Zakar. Sayyad Zakar. Okay, good. Uh, try again. Sayyad Zakar. Sayyad Zakar. Okay. Sayyad. Say this bit. Sayyad. I have to say it is a tongue twister. Sayyad. Up to here. Sayyadha. Okay. And then and then say uh, actually try it without the scene. Maybe that will help at first. Yadhakar. 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 Okay, good. Now the scene. Sayyadhakar. Sayyadhakar. Yes, good. That was much better, mashallah. Sayyadhakar. 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 Sayyad. So these two, they need to be together because both of them have a shadda and they both are connected that way. So, um, so we kind of have to say it like a bouncing ball from here to here to here to here. Sayyad. So like this, you can you can put your finger there if you want. Um, Wait, where's my, I can't even see, okay, here. Um, so here, like a bouncing ball. Sayyadhakar. Sayyadhakar. So put your, put your finger where this uh, word starts. Have you done that? Yeah. Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger just so it's easier. Um, okay, where has it gone now? There it is. There it is. Can you see it? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so put your finger where it starts and on top you will bounce with each letter that you say you will bounce to the next one. So I'll do this. Yeah, that was much better. So I'll do it with the mouse. Can you see the mouse? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do it first and then you do it as well, but with your finger. 
Sayadzakar. 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 Okay, that was much better. Now, can you say it with uh, without pausing? Can you say it in continuation? Okay, good. Uh, you have to say it with more force, this one. Uh, it, at the moment, it sounds like they're not connected. It sounds like Sayadha Garu or something like that. But say Sayadha Zaka, like this. So these two, so not only is the Ya and the Dal, Yadha, are connected, but also then from the Dal to the Kaf, they're also connected. So it's um it's kind of like from the from this ya to the calf, it's kind of like all in one basically. Sayazakaru. Sayazakaru. That was much better. Well done. One more time. Do you want to do it? Sayazakaru. 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 Okay, good. That was much better. Well done. Um, so how many words have you just read? I, f I forgot. Three. Three? Three, yeah. Okay. Uh, so is your sister there as well? Yes. Okay. Um, what's your ID? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What's your ID? N6140. N6140. Okay. <clears throat> so start with Bismillah, please. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, good. Um, so can you start with N6164? I can see you. <laughs> can you turn off your video? Okay, so can you start with this word, please? Minhumullu. Um, Okay, yeah, that was excellent. Very good. So you've read that in pausing. Min huma lu lu. Min huma lu lu. So remember that this is uh, this mean goes straight from the mean to the lam. Okay, so the things in between the the three letters that are blank. Uh, sorry, the two letters because actually, yeah, three. So these, this, this, and this. Okay. We will ignore them, so we will go straight from the meme to the lamb. Min humalu lu. 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 Excellent. Can you say it in continuation now? Yes, but don't prolong it, okay? So, min humalu lu u. Min humalu lu lu Okay, good. That was good. Um, now the next word is this. Can you read this? Anshana hunna in. Okay, good. Uh, <clears throat> so three things. Uh, this is a. Uh, so this alif. This alif with the spoon will make a hamza sound. Al sha like this. Al sha na. Al sha na. Yeah, but don't make don't make it sound like a ayin. Okay. Al sha na. Al sha. Okay, good. And this is a, uh, I think you prolonged this, but we won't prolong the noon itself, but we will we'll pro prolong its nasal sound. We won't say hunna, but we will say hunna. Hunna. Excellent. So up to here, we're going to read. Anshatna hunna. Anshatna hunna. Okay, good. Remember this. This still sounds a little bit <clears throat> like an ain. And then this last bit. 
<clears throat> this, when you pause, it doesn't turn into a sukun, the, the a double um, strokes. They will turn into a prolonged hamza. So they will um, turn into a lift with fatha. So, insha'a. Insha'a. Okay, good. Uh, now, can you say this whole word? Um, so I'll I'll say it first, and everybody else, please uh, repeat after me, and you as well. Okay, good. So you have corrected this mistake, but this one is still there. I think you said Ansha now or something. Ansha Nahunna. Ansha Nahunna. Excellent. That was really good. Uh, okay, and can you read this word, please? La Atum. So, uh, first of all, is there is a little, what is there? A little, what's on top of the alif? Can you see the cross? cross? Yes, that's yeah. right. So that means, what does that mean? Do you know? That you don't read it. That's right. So you don't, <clears throat> you don't read the letter that it's on top of. So it's on top of the alif. That means we don't read the alif. But, but the lam obviously doesn't have a cross. So we, we read the lam just on its own. La. If there, was no, um, if there was no cross, then it would be la prolonged because of the alif and the fatha together. But this one is um, this one is not there anymore basically because it has a cross so it's just one second la la antum la antum la antum la antum okay good well done so how many words have you just read three three yeah. okay good that's fine uh so jazakallah for that i'll mute you now and move on to the next one okay Okay. Assalamualaikum. Okay, uh, so the next one is A5124. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. So start with Bismillah and then read this word, please. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wallah. It. So this is prolongation because it's ya followed by, I mean, um, not followed by, but before it comes a, a kasra. So this is a ya of elongation. Wallahi. Wallahi. Yes, that's correct. Uh, does it stay the same or does anything change if we make a pause? Uh, stays. Uh, stay the same? Yes, that's completely right. It stays the same as it is, even with pausing and even without pausing. Okay, next word, please. This one. Okay, good. Okay, good. <clears throat> Sorry. Kullum, kullum ri'im minhum. Kullum ri'im im minhum. Okay, good. This is obviously a meme mushaddad, so we have to make a nasal sound for two seconds. Im minhum. Him minhum. Okay. Does anything change or stay the same in pausing? Stay the same? That's right. It stays the same. Uh, can you read the next word, please? Not, not, but, um, not, but, um, money, ni, ni, na, yum, na. Okay, so we will break up the word. Not, but, um, not, not, but, um, so this is a ta with a sukun, so it's a kalkula letter. We make a jumping sound. 
or jacking sound, like um, like it's also called. Not the fatan. Not the fatan. Good. Mimmanihi. Okay, so we'll break this up. Mimmani. Mimmaniji. Niyin. Mimmaniji. Mimmaniyin. Mimmaniyin. Okay, so that was good. But remember that this is a meme with a uh, with the, not with the school with the uh, shadda. So this is um, you have to say a gunna sound. Okay, two second nasal sound. Mimmaniyin. Excellent. Yumna. Yumna. Okay, good. Now we'll try and say it as 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 one word. Not the fathom Not the not the Good. Niji yuma Niji yu Niji yu Niji yuma So this this is a uh, double stroke at the nween underneath this year. That means we will make a nasal sound when we connect this year to this year. Niji so Niji yu Niji yuma Excellent. So. Again, not the father, money, not father, not father, not father, money, money, okay, good, that was good. Um, I think that was, oh, yes. Um, so we don't, uh, so this is, <clears throat> okay, so listen carefully. If you, if it was just this word, you could, and if it was in continuation, you would say, no tufatan, that's correct. However, if that's followed with a meme with a shadda like this one, then we don't say no tufatan, mimma, but we connect the ta marbuta with this meme with a shadda. Then we say tam. So we don't make a noon sound anymore. We don't say tan anymore. We say tam. Okay? Not fatam Okay, good. Well done, mashallah. Excellent. So Jazakumullah to to you. Actually, how many words have you read? Uh, and you started from here, right? Two. So one, that's one, two, and that was your third one. Okay, yeah. Sorry, that's fine. That's fine. So does that latch to that? And I'll mute, uh, I'll mute you now, okay? Okay. Thank I'm you. Mute. Okay, N6131, you can have a go, but you have to change your ID first. <coughs> and... Uh, <coughs> We don't have long left for this lesson. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum aslam. Okay, good. Uh, so you can start with Bismillah and then you can start um, reading this word. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Lu'alu amman surah. That was really good, mashallah. Uh, so you have made the correct pause. Mansuran will turn into Mansura in pausing. However, this sounded a little bit like a like a kalkala sound, lu lu, like this. But it's lu. Okay, don't don't kind of make a jumping sound and uh, don't drag it. Lu 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 am Mansura. Lu lu am Mansura. That was really good. Well done. And how do you read it in continuation without pausing? Lu lu amman suran. 
Good. But remember, this is um, a noon with a sukoon, and that's followed by a tha. Now, tha is not one of the six letters, I think it was, um, where, we, uh, where we say the noon sound. It's one of the other long list of long letters, I mean, long list of letters. So we say a nasal sound. Mausura. Mausura. Excellent. That was really good. Um, so can you read this next word, please? Okay. Wajia. That was really good, mashallah. How did you, who taught you that this is how you're supposed to read it? Um, I learned it myself. <laughs> that was really clever, mashallah, because usually people would say wajia like this um but what you've done is completely right and i will explain it to everybody <clears throat> the, the reason we didn't pronounce the alif is because it doesn't actually have a stroke it doesn't have a or a dhamma or a kasra it only has a sign of extra elongation but you can't elongate it's a letter that doesn't have a stroke, you know, you don't know if you're supposed to say ah or ooh or e. So that way, this alif is kind of like a blank alif, even though it has an elongation sign, but we don't know what way to elongate it, so we won't read it. And what we'll do instead is we will, um, uh, we will just elongate the gene that comes with it. So, so that was completely right. Well done. Um, and actually, um, let me see how much. So there are quite a few words still left. And I think, I think for today, uh, this is enough because we still have to go into this and the prayer and then see if anybody has a question. So if you don't mind, um, I will stop here. And you have done two words, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so that, have you got um, a question? Uh, yeah, can I read the end prayer when we have to read it? Um, I, th I mean, I wouldn't mind you doing it, but I think it would be fair if somebody who hasn't had the mic today does it. What do you think? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Jazakumullah, and sorry if you're disappointed, um, but maybe you could read it in tomorrow's lesson with one of the other teachers, or maybe not tomorrow, tomorrow's your exam, but maybe another day, okay? Okay, so <coughs> this throat. Okay, so I would like to um, stop the words here, and I would like to go to the um, external exam sheet. Now you can see that this is. Uh, you probably have. I mean, yes, you have definitely seen it. It's not the first time you're seeing this because we um, always try and show it. Um, you know, we've showed it to you in the in the last past lessons as well. So this is the G2 exam revision list for Tuesday the 27th of March, which is tomorrow. Inshallah. Uh, so tomorrow's your exam if anybody has missed that. Um, you will, it'd be good if you knew everything from lesson one, the 20 most common errors in Dilava and which errors not to make. Uh, lesson two, the 10 cases of work what to do when you know when it ends on an inverse dhamma or what to do if the word ends on kasra or you know damar buta or something you know to know how to pause correctly basically that's from lesson two okay my mic's going mute now okay and then from lesson three um uh, it's 10 most mispronounced Arabic letters. So it'd be good if you just practice the correct pronunciation. pronunciation sa, and you just remember what I told you about um, making it look like you're about to bite your tongue. Uh, sa, and then this one comes from deep in the throat. Ha, and this is a zal, also like this, making it look like you're biting your tongue. Zal. This is a thick letter, your mouth will go around, sod. This is also a thick letter, you will um, actually also kind of make your mouth round, I think. Dod, like this. This is a thick letter, do. 
um, <clears throat> and the difference is da, mouth open wide, and da, like a rounded mouth. This is a za, a za, a da, za, ein, thick letter as well, qaf, different to gaf. Gaf is mouth open and qaf is kind of mouth rounded. And then hamza <coughs> is not ein, of course. Uh, it's hamza, it sounds like alif, okay? So um, these are the 10 mis mispronounced Arabic letters. So you, should, you can learn the correct pronunciation if you haven't done that. And then lastly, lesson four um, was the important rules of Tajweed, where we have just given you some extra um, rules to remember. And uh, just, uh, you know, um, like which are the thick letters and which, uh, what happens when the word Allah um, is preceded. So before it, uh, a, a letter comes with Fatah or Dhamma, then we say Allah in a thick way, Allah, like this. And if it's uh, preceded by a kasra, then we just say it normally, not in a thick way. We just say Allah. Uh, and then obviously, um, all these other things, kalkula letters, uh, if there is a sukun on top, then we make a jumping sound. Uh, is hard letters. <coughs> you know, all of these, we've gone through them. If you have missed them because you weren't there, then it's a good idea to have a look at them again. Um, you know, you have tonight and uh, and tomorrow after school or before school or whenever, inshallah. So I wish all of you the best. And <clears throat> I can see that so many hands are raised and I feel really um, terrible because, because I can't pick all of you. Um, I can, how about, uh, um, so A5131, if you change your ID, okay, then I will do the dua with you okay in the end inshallah <coughs> <coughs> sorry my throat okay and everybody uh, lower your hand and those that have a really burning question that you know you need to um you need to ask then you can please raise your hand otherwise don't because there's there's no way <laughs> that i can get through all of these questions so only if it's a burning question, okay? So the first one is N6157. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Yes, have you got a question? Do you know for the last day of the class? Yeah, so I said that before. It's this Friday, inshallah. That will be the concluding session with everybody, inshallah. Yes. Does that answer your question? But do you know how like, one person will do Tilawat and... One person will do the nazam. Yeah. How do you um like um send your talabat or nazam to? Oh, I'm oh lovely. I'm really sorry about that because I think we made the announcement um last week and maybe even the week before um that everybody should send in their um uh, what is it called uh, their talabat. I don't know if maybe you missed that. I think the deadline is, um, I think the deadline has gone now, to be honest. Um, and I, I'm not sure if they have chosen one already, but I think students have already sent in their, um, what is it called, their recordings. Did you not see that one? This one, did you not see this? So Friday, the 30th of March, and you were supposed to send in your Dilavat by 23rd of March. So that was three days ago. I'm really sorry that you missed that. Okay. Yeah, is that okay? When, so is, I was... when, is, the next... um, when is the next course? Uh, I think the next course will probably be sometime after the summer holidays, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go to the next question. Assalamualaikum. Zakhla. Um, Assalamualaikum. A five one three zero. A five one three zero. Assalamualaikum. 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 Yes. Did you have a question? Yeah. Um. About the mm. classes. Yeah. Do you know when you um? About this test that we've got. 
Iya. Iya. Um, how come uh, how come it's being postponed for lots of days? How come what? Sorry. It's been postponed for lots of days. Oh yeah. So we had we were having issues because uh, the examiner was unavailable in those days. I think. Um, so there was some, some th- I don't know what exactly the reason was, but I think the, the person that was the examiner was unavailable on those days. So we had to postpone it, unfortunately. Okay. Thank you. Waslam. Are you still there? Sorry, I had, am I just, my screen just froze. Um, so does that answer your question? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so the next person is, I'll try and quickly get, go through them. But we are actually at the end of the class. N6158, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I have a question about the, um, you know, the importance of the dweeb. The yeah. Lam- and um, does the letter before the lamb, like the um, the letter before lamb that has like, when we say Allah, does the A um does the A get the mouth or the or does no, no. the L? No, it's it's the it's any letter. So if it is um. So guys, we might go over time if you don't mind. I hope you don't mind because we just—I'm just trying to go through all of the um, questions. So we might just go a little, a few minutes over time if everybody's okay with that. So I'll just quickly go. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think I know what you mean. Um, so let me just. I'll, for example, here. Um, so you can see that this is the word Allah, right? Yes. Um, and we will say Allah. We will say a thick letter. Uh, a thick lamb. The reason is because, um, uh, actually, wait a second. Um, I think, actually, I think now you, I think uh, I'm even now confused. So wait a second. Um, so let me open uh, a Quran um, part and let's see what it is. Just a second. Okay, so let's have a look if there is a Allah um, word somewhere. Okay, yeah, so here I can see one. So uh, so this is the Lama Jalala word. This is uh, the word Allah right here, right? Alif, Lam, Lam, Ha. This is Allah. Now, the, the letter before that is Hamza, and that Hamza has a fatha on top. So that way, this will be a thick Allah. Allah, like this. If this Hamza or any other letter, whichever one came before this Allah, had a kasra underneath, then we would say illa or whatever it was. We would say it in a thin way, okay? But because it, the letter before the word Allah, before this alif, has something on top, uh, fatha or Dhamma, whatever it is, that way we say it in a thick way. Does that answer your question? Yes. Um, okay. I. You mean like um that the the letter before the lamb, the lamb makes um if it has a fatal dhamma, it makes it thick. Yes. So the letter that comes not before the this lamb, but be, before this alif. So this is alif. Before that is hamza. Okay. Okay. That comes before the alif. Okay, Jazakumullah for that. Um, and we only have a few more. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, A5175. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. My question was, uh, my brother's in G1, and do you know the last class? Is G1 and G2 together? Yeah, everybody will be together then, inshallah. So G1, will be, the class will be at 7 o'clock as well? Uh, so I think the time is... Uh, I'm not sure actually, but I think you will get a notification if it's a different time. You just sign in for your normal time unless you're told to sign in at a different time, okay? Okay. All right, Sakula. And the next one, Aslam Nikum. Aslam Nikum. 
Have you got a question, Assalamu alaikum? A5127, Assalamu Okay, so there's no reply. Um, and A5159, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum. Malikum Sam. Um, my question was, how do you log in on Friday? Because the G1 and G2 classes are together. So what's the password and meeting ID going to be? Okay, so don't worry about that because I think if it's uh, obviously different to what you're usually signing in with, then uh, you will get it uh, in your email. You will get the, the whole information in your email, inshallah, um, if okay. it's different, okay? Okay. And two more to go. Assalamu alaikum. A5122. Wa alaikum aslam. Yes. Um, uh, my question was, in Thursday and Friday, uh, what are we going to do? Um, so Thursday, you will be doing uh, a quiz, uh, inshallah, with uh, your teacher today. Um, and it will be, you know, a way to end the class. And on Friday, you will have the combination. Okay? Okay. Okay, good. Zakmula. Um, N6112. N6173. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Malikum Sam. Yes, have you got a question? Um, who was chosen for Salamat? I don't actually know that. I think only the head teacher knows that. We weren't told. We're not aware. Okay. I think only the head teacher knows. We, we don't know. The teachers don't know. Okay. Is that good? Okay, um, so I'm really sorry N6159, but I already promised A5131 uh, that he could do the end dua. Um, so, Jazakumullah girls and boys, Atfal and Nasra, there was a wonderful time spending with you um, over the past few weeks. And I really enjoyed teaching you on Mondays and some other days as well. Um, I hope I did an okay job. <laughs> Please remember me in your prayers. And um, maybe we'll meet in person one day, inshallah. And um, and maybe actually even online, you know, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, I wish you all for your futures and um, keep, you know, keep the teachers and all in your prayers and uh, keep trying to improve your beloved. So don't, you know, settle with what it is at one point. Be happy with that. Always try and improve. Okay, so those were my last words uh, to A and three. One, uh, let me just have a look where you are. Um, just a second, where are you? Um, just give me a five, one, three, one. Okay, there you are. Go. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Yes, can you read the, the end of the class? Okay, Oh, billahi min shaytani rajeem, bismillahi rahmani rahim, Allahumma rahamni bil Quran al-azim, waj'al huli imam mawa nura wa hudaw wa rahma. Okay, good. Well done. Question, please. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance and the mercy. Okay, that was really good. Well done, mashallah. That was really good. Um, and uh, sorry about Jazakallah. And sorry um, if I haven't been able to give you uh, the mic. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, but I, like I said, I wish you all the best and. Inshallah, we might be able to speak on Friday um, in the in the combined class. And Jazakumullah for your nice comments. <laughs> okay, wish you all the best. The class has finished. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.